obvious from the way you two are dressed. You're not here to talk to me about fashion. I'm afraid not. Lieutenant Pathmark, you're under arrest for the insider trading code 327B for industrial espionage. You have the right to remain silent. Yes. Yes, I did it. I wanted to make sure these were across-the-board trends. I wanted to make sure that if we featured it, they would come. But do you want to know why I did it? Because I love fashion. Fashion is my life, or at least a good portion of my day. And my dream was always that every man, woman, child in America would learn to spell Ferragamo, that little five-year-olds would learn to play hopscotch on simplicity patterns, that words like polyester and leisure suit and house dress would be stricken from our vocabularies. Yes, yes, if that's my crime, I'm proud that I did it. And if I have to go to jail, so be it. As long as I can take my wardrobe with me. I guess I am just a little nervous. But I can't help it. I keep thinking something horrible's gonna happen. Vicky, nothing horrible is gonna happen. Vicky, sweetheart! <laughs> Mommy's here. Mom, what are you doing here? Where's Daddy? He's parallel parking the Winnebago, so we probably won't see him till tomorrow. <laughs> Come. Give me a hug. No, Mom, I can't. I'm covered. Ah! Pins. <laughs> Little pain, it's all right. I'm used to it from you. <laughs> If you finish pinning, would you be a sweetheart and get me a Diet Cola? I am so parched. Oh, I don't work here. I'm uh, Susan's grandmother. I'm Susan. Oh, maid of honor. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> you are lovely. You could use a little augmentation there, though. <laughs> you know what? Get the same guy who did your nose. It's fabulous work. <laughs> Thank you, but it's part of the original package. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You'll understand when you get older. <laughs> Or you can age gracefully and live proudly with the lines life has given you. I'm guessing dead husband. <laughs> Am I right? Is that a little fold of skin coming loose above your eyebrows? Oh my God, not again. I'm going to sue that SOB for every... <laughs> it was just a shadow. Did you hear that joke about how Bellevue was a terrible hospital? A friend of yours went there and he died, died, poor. Then say, and he was just a visitor. It'll work then. It's all time and time. Think you act like jazz. Think you act like, like a deck of cards. Throw it up in the air. Any way the bits come down, that's the way you do them. And you connect them up by improvising. Improvise. Kitty. Your father loved you very much. You, you do know that, don't you? He wanted to be with you more, but... I lost it. Right there in the Singer Sewing Machine Center. Between the pink and cheers and the scissors. I lost it. I kept squeezing Kitty and squeezing Kitty and squeezing Kitty. She was going, Grandma, please don't cry. Grandma, please, you're going to get sick. Don't cry. So I realized she understood everything there is to understand about life. A nine-year-old kid. Because what she was really saying to me was, hey, Grandma, I know Daddy's dead. I know you love Daddy, but Daddy. He's dead. What about me, Grandma? I'm alive. You get sick. Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to take care of me, Grandma? It's every man for himself, Grandma. And I laughed. Right there in all that pain. I laughed. I mean, I gave birth to Lenny Bruce, right? And Lenny opened the door to modern American comedy. So in a way, I gave birth to, to Lenny Bruce and, and George Carlin and Richard Pryor and Chevy Chase and Robin Williams and Bill Cosby and Eddie Murphy and David Letterman. And <laughs> no wonder I'm exhausted. <laughs> there is this incredible gift that's yours if you're lucky enough to have a daughter. Someone you've known and loved forever. Sure, you bicker and you complain, you criticize, and, and sometimes you even separate. But it really doesn't matter because Beneath it all, you're going to find out. You've given birth to your own best friend. I got friends up to, And they don't talk down. They've been keeping me safe and sound. We got something to be. I'm not going to cry. And I'm waving goodbye.
I am again, Leroy. Fill her up. Some big deal, huh? Boy, you sure got to like to swim when you go in for this expenditure. You look like the type that goes in for swimming, huh? Why not? Not a maniac about it. Tell you the truth, it's murder on my hair. Lovely hair. Thank you. You want to come with me? Where? Along a river of sapphire pools. I never heard anyone talk like you. Come with me. Be my love. <laughs> that I've heard before. Not for me. You're no different than any other guy. Oh, but I am. Come on, John. <laughs> <laughs> 